All right, welcome, and we are in episode number 12 of my American football series, and we are in the MLS Cup Final. We'll, um, I really just kind of want to dive in, partly because um, I'm not totally sure how much time I have to get this recorded, um, but we'll quickly look at sort of how we got here and you know, come some of the other results. I did, um, as we see here in the Super League of Final, I did beat Toronto FC, won that game 2-0 to zero on goals from Martinez and Minotas. So we, we brought that cup home. It was one of those results where you know, the match was kind of dull, um, but you know we just got it done, right? We dominated the match, controlled the game. Um, we didn't create a whole lot, but we finished what we did create, and so that was good. Then we ended the MLS season, went into the playoffs, um, pretty much coasted past San Jose, uh, won the first leg in San Jose 2-0, to zero, then held on in the home leg. Um, one to zero to, you know, win three zero on aggregate. Uh, then I you can see I scheduled a friendly against uh, one of our academy affiliates in between um, rounds of the playoffs because we had a two week layoff and I wanted to keep as many of my keep my guys fit. So we played a friendly, easily won that. Um, then we went to the final, the Western Conference final. Played against the Sounders uh, and the away leg was. Well, it was very exciting. Um, there were, um, well, it was a lot of goals, right? And they they started out, they took the lead 1-0. Uh, Elise equalized to make it 1-1. Then I think they went up, it was either, they either went up 3-1 to or 4-2. to And we scored a goal uh, in stoppage time. Uh, Pena scored a 90, 30-minute goal right at the last breath. Um, to make it 4-3, which turned out really to be the difference. Because in the home leg, we only won 1-0, and even that was intense. Uh, we controlled the game. We were in control most of the way, but we didn't um, we didn't get the goal we needed until the 81st minute when Albert Elise slotted home a penalty. He And I know he missed one other one. I want to think he missed one earlier in the match to really make us kind of sweat it out. So... Um, so it was 4-4 on aggregate, but we um, uh, we, we advanced on away goals. Um, and so now here we are in the MLS Cup playing against New York City. And the last time we played New York City, we actually lost. We, well, it was the only time we played them this season, I'm pretty sure. I, only, only once in league play. Um, I don't think we played them in any cup matches. So in our one encounter with New York City, yeah, I'm not even in the preseason. Um we lost, so we've got to turn that around. You got to turn that result around. Um, so we're playing them at home in the MLS Cup final, the uh, friendly comp, uh, friendly confines of BBVA Compass. So let's just go right in, and then if we've got some time after, we will um, we'll look at some of the statistics for the season probably. But um, and right there, what you're seeing, I'm working on a. Um, a box midfield tactic with Vitoria in Brazil, and so what I might do is run a um, parallel series um, when I get the Brazil season going next year because I didn't take over Vitoria till halfway through, and so I, I want to take an off season to assemble a squad before I really start getting uh, under the hood of that tactic. So, but here we go. Um, Obviously, New York City's loaded. They've got Davi Villa. Um, they've, they're really good front to back. They're one of the better teams in the league, you know, squad wise. They didn't have a great season. I think they were one of the wild card teams, but um, they're still very dangerous. Um, well, they're one of the best teams. They're in the MLS Cup final, so they're good. Um, and we're still young, especially in the back, right? Um, Every single player along the back line is in their low under their well the the young side of the twenties. So um, it's going to be a challenge. And our players' youth really showed. Our back line's youth really showed in that Seattle series. Um, that especially that first leg, we just um, they were finishing pretty much every chance they had, um, and so. So that wasn't good, but here we are. We're now in the MLS Cup Final, New York City. I enjoy these matches a lot. 
Um, yeah, let's set the record straight. And here we go. Uh, it's our second MLS Cup final road. This would be in real life, if you know if this were real. This would be Houston's, I think, six. Let's see, they've won, they've won two, and I think they lost two. So this would be their sixth MLS Cup final with a chance to win their fourth MLS Cup. Mayor puts a one away in the fourth minute, and we are up 1-0 on a set piece. Corner kick. Oh, but it was it was taken away, and Dalrymple gets a foul and a yellow card, so we've got to... That really sucks. I was all excited. Do you guys ever get excited and don't realize that it's being the goal is being disallowed until you've made an idiot of yourself? Well, that just happened to me. I just made an idiot of myself because we that goal didn't count. Martinez put it on target. <sighs> so, hey, first eight minutes, we're having all the fun here. And I would really prefer to have all the fun. Somebody got to bounce on that rebound. Um, now, one thing I noticed, and I don't know why, I need to go back and look at the schedule, but for some reason, New York City, a lot of their players are not fully, they're not full could fit, whatever. Um, their match condition is, is not maxed out. Um, Ours isn't either, but I mean, I know we've had at least six days rest, and we're we're we were more whatever match fit than they are, and I'm not sure why that is. I'm gonna test with a shot right to the keeper. Um, Sean Johnson is there's he's New York City's goalkeeper. He is one of the best American keepers. Um, he's still relatively young for a goalkeeper. I think mid twenties, maybe upper twenties now. Um. I don't, he's had he's got some caps, but I don't know how. Honestly, right now in the real life, I don't know much about what our national team kind of looks like. They've the um, I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. There's another shot by George goes wide. Dave Sarakan is our interim manager for the national team, and everybody knows he's not going to be there. You know, this is a temporary, and another shot right to the keeper. Uh, his his position is temporary, so we're going to have a new manager, probably the beginning of next year. So speculating on on nation, the national team right now, I mean, there's some where you know Pulisic is going to, obviously, he's going to get caps. Um, but beyond some of the more obvious names, we really don't know. And goalkeeper is one of those where there's a few names that guys who could get could get looks. Obviously Guzan, oh. but I am not that high on Guzan. I think at the point now with Guzan, and the shot goes wide, we know what we're gonna get from Guzan, and it's not that it's not anything like he's not gonna. I don't think he's gonna get much better than he is right now. He obviously is thirty, so it's you know he is he is what he is and so let's let's look at some of the younger guys see what they offer bill hamid sean johnson um so enough national team stuff obviously we're we're having the we're, we're having most of the run of play here we just need to finish one of these chances and george too much that happens my guys will kick the will just kick the ball right off of a defender or even off of our t off of a teammate Notez takes it in, shot goes wide. <clears throat> it's a little frustrating. We should be up one nothing right now. Fudmayor had that goal, but Dalrymple commits a foul. All right, so here we that's first half. Not much really to talk about. Um, obviously, we were the better team. Eleven shots, four on target. You know, to their three shots, one on target. We had sixty percent of the ball. You just got to finish. Got to finish. Um, you're performing well out there. Keep it up, and the result will come. Let's get this Let's get this done, guys. We are the better team here. So let's freaking win this game. All right, here we go. To Manotas on the left. See, like, there it is again. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't remember seeing it as much as I have this season. Just balls. And maybe it happens. It's just that I haven't been really... They've not been showing it in highlights. But they'll just... 
take a ball, bounces right off of, and I don't know if that I've ever even seen that happen in professional football. I mean, I'm sure it has. Somebody will post a link to a YouTube video where some idiot did that. Ah, damn it. Penalty. That's not good. So we're going to have to... Ah, save. Yes, clear it. Okay. Whew. Sorry for the language, by the way. Probably... <laughs> I'm going to, um, I would probably avoid too much French that could get me in trouble. Martinez out to Soa. That's, and Soa does that a lot too. He'll save, he'll leave the ball sitting there for the other team to come pick up. It's like, hey guys, here you go. All right, so we're at the hour mark and nothing, nothing exciting. Ronaldo Pena! Good save. I mean, good save by Johnson. As we've said, he is one of the best American goalkeepers. Oh, another shot blocked. And up to Maxi Morales. So well with the tackle. Okay. I mean, we're dominating. We just need to finish one of our chances. And a yellow card for Soa. Soa's been on injury, but he is back. Fully fit. Was able to get that. He um, he missed the first leg of the Western Conference semifinal against San Jose, but came back for the second leg. And I think he was. I think I subbed him in the second leg, and then he played all of the Seattle, both legs of the Seattle series. Well, Martinez down to sixty-seven percent. So is so. But I'm gonna. I mean, Martinez is having a good game, so I'm not gonna take him off. He's also. I don't really have a. Placement that I feel comfortable with. Yep. Yeah, well, let's put do something here. Come on, get, at least get a shot. All right. So Soa takes a shot. Not the guy I want taking a shot there, but hey, at least he's did something with it. Oh, did we get a penalty? Looks like we did. But I don't even get excited anymore. I swear, Elise is okay. He makes one. Elise makes like less than half of his penalties. I I almost would rather they give me a corner kick. Okay, so we're up one nothing. Anyway, I definitely want to go defensive, and what I'm going to do is forget trying to possess. Let's. I'm not going to go too long passing. Um, I'm going to let him be more expressive. I'm going to also lower the back line to normal. Let's get it up a little. I'm going to close down more. So this is kind of what I've been doing when I'm really trying to hold the lead. <sighs> Do I want to sub in anybody else? I'm looking at my list of subs. Alton Top probably could come in. So I'm going to bring in Alton Top for Artur. Let me first check Artur's penalties. Taking... Yeah, he's only a seven. So I'm gonna bring in Alton Top. He's he's older, he's slow, but he is a good tackler, good defender. I don't really feel comfortable subbing any of these other guys in at this point. So but we'll do that. And hopefully, hopefully. Hang on to the lead. This would be the second uh the last one, I mean, we, we advanced past Seattle because of an Elise penalty. Which you could say, well, that's just luck. I don't agree. I feel like, I mean, you watching this game, that penalty was really, that reflected our dominance, I feel. Like, we, we deserve, we deserve something out of this match. And so, the penalty just kind of shows that. Thomas up to Minotas. Let's make it two. Let's make it two! And Pena with the finish. That is it. We are winning the MLS Cup. Second year in a row. Really a bit of a surprise. Well, I wouldn't say a surprise because I don't know if it's just easier to win MLS, but um, we are still building. We're in the building phase. I do feel strong about our first 11. But as you can tell, ooh, we, uh, are they, um, yeah, they've kind of settled in. So I'm not going to change everything but i am going to go standard lower the tempo some lower the closing down and lower the passing we'll retain possession just try and hang on to it um now that it's already 
now that it is over, I will I will bring in a couple subs. Get some apps for some young guys. I'm going to bring in Amic and switch Thomas over to the left or to the right. And we will make his tackling. Sorry, I know this is piddly stuff I'm doing here, but still kind of got to do it. And then this is a guy, I don't know if I remember, I don't remember if we talked about this in any of the other videos, but I brought in a, um, an Anthony Mohammed. He is a Ghanaian attacking midfielder, possible future number 10. Um, he is okay. He's pretty good. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I feel good about my first 11, but you guys saw, I'm not, I'm not in a match like this high stakes. I'm not fully comfortable subbing in any of the guy any of my first 11 out um there is a midfielder that i have nardella who is injured uh who gives me a little uh flexibility in the midfield but you know he's hurt so so we need to get deeper but i do feel good about this first 11 really against most of the teams i play so that's it we are the mls cup champions and i would say a fair result um was off a penalty, but as I said, that penalty reflected our dominance. Um, I mean, the reality is, if you are always in the opponent's area, you know you're in the area, you're threatening, you are you are attacking, you know you're getting shots. A penalty really is only reflective of of that dominance, right? It's you're going to get more penalties when you're in the other team's area more. So you know, so I, well, it, it it almost feels a little dirty. Um, I, I'm comfortable. I don't feel like we stole this. I mean, we outshot them 20 to 5. Ever, well, I don't even remember what the possession was, but we dominated it. So um, so we'll take it. All right. Exciting. Two in a row. Um, the, the fun of the MLS playoffs is.